get this this bracket up. Let's take a look at this bracket because we've got a lot to go into because we're going to talk about kind of what we see happening here um, because yes. there's a lot of, of stuff that's very intriguing. Everyone in the Give chat, let us know you, who you're going <laughs> to – the finals. Who do you want in the finals in the chat? Yeah, let us know. So, yeah, I like – I mean – I like how they're doing this version to get, you know, more people in this tournament because yeah. of uh, with the buys. Um, you know, obviously the, they said the top four wins contenders are getting buys, but there's a lot of, comp- I mean, Penelope Ford and Soho. I mean, that feud has been going on, so they're keeping that feud alive. But uh, to me, shooting it to the end, I, I see Thunder and Soho going in the finals as well uh, for this one. Okay. And then Thunder prevailing. I mean, you have Hater. If to me, this is how I see it played out. You have Hater winning against Anna J. Yeah, because uh, you're still, you know, they just kind of went toe to toe there, and then Thunder putting out Hater, which essentially is furthering, you know, planting those seeds, part of yeah. the DMD squad as well. And then ultimately, Thunder and Jade, she's getting her revenge on Jade, so she re- she gets her revenge on Jade, beats her, and then she's getting her revenge essentially on Soho because Soho eliminated her at All Out. So. It's a it's a perfect stepping stone for the Conquering ultimate reward, stone. you know. So, Hater down, Cargill down, then Soho down. All these people who have you know pinned her or beaten her in some form, or you know that ties it all together. Yeah. You know, Jade is a superstar for sure, and so this if she loses this, this will be her first loss, and so no better person to get that loss than to Thunder. But yeah. I know a lot of people, a lot of fan favorites think, you know, Jade is going to go all the way as well. So um, who do you how do you see this playing out? Man, it's tough. I, I really am intrigued by uh, the second to last first round we're going to get. We get Sheeta versus Deeb. And yeah, that match rematch is going to be insane. That could have been a finals. Matchup. I know. I agree. And we were in that in the first round. So there's going to be some some talent that we lose really quick. And I'm curious. That's going to be the real pivot point right there. Because we get to see with Serena Deeb recently um, with with her match kind of spoiling Sheeta's 50th win. Right. Um, I'm curious to see what the long-term game plan is with Serena Deeb. Um, because we didn't really get to, to see her do the heel stuff yet. She was, she's was she been injured. Um, and now great. she's back, and it's going to be so great. But yeah. I, I would love to see a, a finals between Thunder and and, and Serena Deeb. I yeah. think that they could have a, an absolute classic um, <laughs> match, especially in this tournament for the first inaugural champion. Um, I think that would be an absolute classic, and that's kind of where I, I hope to see it. Um, I'd love to see that that finals, man. I think that would just – that would steal the show, and I want to see the best possible match for this yeah. first – for the first inaugural uh, championship match, that'd be awesome. Pure wrestling, this definitely that w- that combo would be the best possible in ring match. Deep in Thunder, the story storyline sure. wise, I totally agree with you. But just looking right. at it from a pure wrestling match, oh, yes. give me that every day of the week. I want to see top that every two day. women in AEW in terms of pure wrestling talent are Deep and Thunder. Yep, by far, in my opinion. Uh, you have some great ones, yeah. obviously. You know, Riho and and Cheetah are in there, uh, and so, um, and others. But pure in ring wrestling, and then the newly healed Deeb, she could even steal it. You know, at the end, you know, you have Thunder and Deeb. A that's a toss up. That's a flip of a go. coin. I would be happy with either of them. Yeah. Obviously, we would we'd be rooting for Thunder, but either of them would be very compelling. And you have a. Um, by that point, when this belt is, you know, crowned the champion in January, Britt Baker will be full blown babyface, and we know that, and she's already so there. We have team baby so face, then yeah. you have <laughs> team babyface for sure, and then you have uh, D being the heel right there as well uh, with a new belt. So you got that perfect transition of, fun. of that. So <laughs> we we have we have to balance everything out, right? It's all about True. balance. So balance do you? Wrestling. So you think? Cargo is going to lose her first. Her first loss is going to be to Thunder in this tournament. Yeah, I think that it, I think that what you're saying makes some sense. You know, have yeah. that that kind of almost redemption, that small redemption for Thunder uh, in that match where where Jade kind of embarrassed her a little bit. Right. Uh, and and I think that would be make for an interesting way to have a long term build because what I love about AEW is they they yeah. go back to those moments, those little moments where it's like, oh, you embarrassed me six months ago. Um, on a random episode of Dynamite <laughs> or Rampage, and we're going to go back and start a feud because of this. I love that. And I think that there these kind of tournaments, 
lend themselves to that kind of storytelling. You know, a random match in this tournament uh, in, in a year could spark a feud that ends up being involved in the title picture. Sure. We don't know. And that's what makes it so fun is this long-term booking, this long-term storytelling is great. So, you know, a match that we think, Oh man, that wasn't even a big deal could make it be a huge, huge moment um, mm-hmm. in a couple months or even a couple of weeks. So I'm just psyched for the tournament, see what they give us, see what the booking looks like. Cause the last tournament will be honest, kind of was a letdown. So, I'm really excited for this one. I think this one's going to – I like the the bracket. I think it looks good. I'm a mm-hmm. little surprised that we get um, – that we're going to get Sheeta versus Deeb in the first round. But outside yeah. of that, I, I really like what they got going for us, and I'm excited about it. <laughs>